Hello, in this video we are going to mention DeepFace framework for Python. It's a lightweight face recognition and facial attribute analyze library. I mean that you can run it with a, just a few lines of code. We will mention its functionalities and best practices as well. Its face recognition module wraps several state-of-the-art models. These are VGG Face, Google FaceNet, OpenFace, Facebook DeepFace, DeepID, ArcFace, and finally Dialip. Those models reached and passed the human level accuracy already. Besides, its facial attribute analyze module covers age, gender, emotion, and race prediction. It's fully open sourced and its source code can be accessed in this URL. Also, it's available on Python package index or shortly pip. We just need to run the pip install deepface command to install the package. Let's mention how to run facial recognition with deepface firstly. As I mentioned, if you are going to use it first time, then you need to call the pip install deepface command. Then you need to import library from deepface import deepface. Here uh, the first letter of the deep and face uh, should be uppercase. Secondly, we are going to call deepface dot verify function. That's available under the interface of deepface and this verify function expects image one path and image two path let's define them first the path of the first image is going to be deepface tests data set and here image one dot jpeg Similarly, my second image is going to be image2.jpg in the same location. Let's see the content of those images. I chose them from the unit test item of DeepFace library. Tests and dataset. This is my first image and this is my second image. I'm going to compare this image pair in the verification function. Here we are going to pass the exact image paths to the verification function. Let's remember the input arguments. Image one path is equal to image one path in this case. And image two path is going to be image two path. Those are required input arguments of the verification function. But optionally, we can pass model name, distance metric, pre-trained model, and face detection backend as well. Let's see the documentation of the verification function. Model names, uh, default value is VGG face. I mean that if you haven't passed it to anything, then it's going to be VGG face. But uh, you can pass it to FaceNet, OpenFace, DeepFace, DeepID, Dlib, ArcFace or Ensemble. Ensemble is the combination of uh, those state-of-the-art models. It comes with high level accuracy but its performing time is long. That's why we are going to ignore Ensemble method in this video. And let's set the model name here model name for example it's going to be google facenet model here i'm going to pass the model name argument to the model name and it's going to be facenet in this case let's assign the response of the verification function to the response and run this block the verification function is completed and let's see the response object here it's a dictionary actually and we are going to mention it's verified k actually it returns true 
this means this image pair is same person as seen we can run a facial recognition task in a single line of code but actually in the background it handles several uh, stages of a common face recognition pipeline what are those common stages for example face detection and alignment are early stages of a face recognition pipeline but verification function handles this handles those early stages in the background but we can still see it here i'm going to call deepface.detectFace face function and pass exec image paths as input this is going to be my first image and similarly i'm going to read the second image with detect face function now i'm going to import the import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt to im show the uh, to call im show function to show those raw images here i'm going to call plt dot im show and pass image one as input and similarly i'm going to run this for second image this is my first image and this is my second image as seen those are detected and aligned versions of the raw images so we have applied a facial recognition with facenet model in a single line of code actually we can run uh, this block for different facial recognition algorithms for example let's run it for vgg face run this verification function again and here let's create a new line and print response here to compare the uh, result with facenet the both facenet and uh, vgg face experiments return true but as seen the distance values are different also the maximum threshold values to verify are different finally let's run it for a different facial recognition model for example let's pass arc face and run this verification block again and at this cell to print the response the arc face model returned true as well what if i test this experiment for a pair uh, of different persons let's test it i'm going to pass the image 1.jpg and image 3.jpg as image pair let's read those images first and plot them the first one is angelina julie and the second one is jennifer aniston and let's test it with arc face Estin ArcFace model returns false in this case because those are really different persons. So we have mentioned how to run a face recognition task with deep face, but as you might realize that we passed a image pair as input. What if I'm going to pass a single image and I want deep face to find the uh, similar faces of the past one herein deep face has a custom find function to handle this task let's call it deep face dot find and as input i'm going to pass a image path for example it's going to be source dot jpeg in the same directory of my notebook here find function expects a second db path argument uh, as required db path is going to be deep face tests and data set you might remember this 
folder is the unit test items of the deep face library here the source.jpg is uh, this image that's located in the same directory of my notebook and let's see the unit test items of the deep face library this source.jpg uh, doesn't exist in the uh, this dataset folder as you can see we are going to look for the similar images of the source one find function will return a pandas data frame that's why i'm going to assign it to a df variable and here i'm going to import the pandas library import pandas as pd and let's call find function here it returned and let's see the result of the my data frame this is the most similar one uh, image 4.jpg let's see what it is it say it says the closest one uh, is this image 4.jpg for the this source.jpg let's see the second one it's image 2.jpg And let's see the third one, image10.jpg. So we have mentioned two custom functions for facial recognition task. Here, uh, the verify function uh, has a O1 time complexity in the BICO notation. On the other hand, find function has a ON time complexity in the BICO notation where the n is the number of instances in my database what else deepface offers a, a facial attribute analyze function as well that's actually deepface dot analyze and as input we are going to pass a single image path then it's going to uh, make predictions for emotion age gender and race let's set it for example image one dash pet and this is the analyze object let's run it the analyze function is completed and let's see the response object of the analyze function it firstly returns the uh, distribution of seven different emotions and here it also returns the dominant emotion it's happy the highest uh, score uh, is in the happy field in the emotion k it also returns age value it returns gender value uh, it says that this is 33 years old woman and uh, it returns uh, race distributions of uh, six different races and also dominant race it says that this is latino let's remember the uh, first image let's move this here deep face uh, predicts this is happy 33 years old woman and its race is latino so we have mentioned uh, how to run facial recognition uh, and also facial attribute analyze with DeepFace in this video. You can support DeepFace project if you star at GitHub repo. You can also support this channel if you like this video and also subscribe to the channel as well. I will be appreciate for your all support in advance. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.